TikTok, the shiny stuff, gold typically seen as a safe haven during these uncertain times. But wild policy moves out of China and upbeat data on the U.S. economy throwing a wrench into that market. Take a look at this. The price of gold this morning down seven bucks at 1131 a troy ounce. Now joining us, Anthem Vault CEO Anthem Blanchard. Good morning to you, Anthem. Good morning, Sandra. All right, so what are we looking at when it comes to gold right now? Do you like it? Do you hate it? I really like it here. I don't think that there's a ton of downside. I think given all the volatility that you know, Dominic and some of your other guests have picked up on, I really think it's a great play here. I think that we're going to see increased volatility out of emerging markets. I think we're seeing ruminations out of India, and I think it makes gold a really attractive play. Okay, so if somebody's going to buy gold, uh, do they buy it at today's levels? Do you wait a little bit till it sells off some more? Where do you like gold specifically? Uh, I, I always think cost averaging is a good idea, you know, buying incrementally, weekly, or every, you know, twice a month, let's say. But I don't think there's really a lot of downside here, Sandra. I really think that we've seen gold almost 50% off of its dollar highs from four years ago. I think it's got a lot of upside here. But is it a long-term trade or a short-term trade? Because we do have the Fed that is going to raise rates potentially later oh, this year. Great question. I actually think gold possibly could go down a few more percentage points. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me to see it flirt around 1100 an ounce. It wouldn't shock me, but ultimately, I think the downside risk is very low. And if you look around you, I mean, there's a lot of volatility. I think we're going to ultimately see a global quantitative easing come out, and I think it's going to have to come from more than the U.S. and China. And I think that's going to bode well for gold. But gold is supposed to be, it's sold as a haven, as a safe investment, and it has been not that during the stock market downturn. So if it's not, if it's a correlated asset, it doesn't make any sense. Well, we did see gold come off of about uh, 1090 roughly an ounce roughly a month ago. So it is up a few percentage points. So if we look over a 30 day period from the highs of the market, you know, gold has held its own in dollar terms. So, I mean, it's really been pretty steady. It's got a double digit loss in the last year. It's down a little more than 11%. In dollar terms, that's correct. It's up in euro terms over the last year. It's up. Yeah, but in, I don't uh, invest Indian in euros. Well, People on the, watching this program don't invest it, in euros. Let me add that. It, so we either see it as a hedge against inflation, and clearly we're in a deflationary environment with commodities and oil, or a fear trade where you're trying to protect some assets. So are you thinking that the fear trade is going to be coming into play more over the next couple of months? Because clearly inflation is not going to be an issue. Uh, I, I do think that, Dominic. I think it is a fear trade. It's ultimately a hedge against credit risk, a hedge against potential contagion risk okay. in the banking system. I think we need to see coordination here from the global central banks. And I think ultimately we're still waiting to see what Jackson Hole is going to look like in Fed policy. So I think that's what the market's looking at. Gold's a good safe haven. All right, Anthem Blanchard, uh, he likes gold right here. Gold is off more than 3%.